In this video, we restore the full context menu to Explorer in Windows 11, removing the need to show more options, making every menu item accessible from a single right click. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. Windows 11 has compacted its Explorer menu, and therefore whenever we right click on a file, we now see a top row of icons, rather than words, for cut, copy, rename, move and recycle, and only 5 options within the main body of the menu. In contrast to previous versions of Windows, not all of the options we might require are immediately available, forcing us to click show more options, to reveal the menu in full, and hiding a number of key items by default. On an established system, the position potentially worsens, as third party app entries are also hidden, and in this example, we see extensions of Skype, Dropbox, Pushbullet, 7-Zip, Glary Utilities and Attribute Changer all relegated to this secondary tier. Whilst your menu will inevitably differ from ours, each system is likely to have a number of significant additional menu entries located here. This is a deliberate design choice from Microsoft, and if you prefer this more compact style, and don't require continuous access to third party additions, this isn't a project for you. We, however, see this as a step in the wrong direction, which effectively doubles the number of clicks required to access these features and we prefer to have the ability to access the menu in full, in a single click. At the time of this video's publication, this is the system default, and there's no simple slider to activate or deactivate the full context menu, nor is there an option to turn items on or off individually. In this tutorial, we explore a simple solution to restore the full context menu, providing single click access to all menu items. To achieve this, we will add keys to the Windows registry, Whilst this process is incredibly straightforward, and we'll walk through every step, tinkering with the registry always carries the health warning that simple mistakes can potentially destabilise the entire system. And we will therefore begin by taking a few moments to back up the registry, providing us with a safety net in the event of unrecoverable error. From our desktop, we click the start button, and when the start menu appears, we type regedit and press enter, or click on the registry editor application icon. User account control will query this action on most systems, and we can click yes to provide our consent. As ever, we can suppress these warnings in future by following the steps in the tutorial shown on screen now, and linked in the description accompanying this video. The main interface of the registry editor application appears, and from here we're a few clicks from creating a backup of the registry. We open the file menu, and select export. We then choose a location in which to save the single backup file, and in this case, we navigate to our Documents folder, although this could be anywhere on the PC, network, or an external drive. We provide a name for our backup, and whilst we name ours Registry Backup, you have an entirely free choice. Once we've named the file, we click to save it. A short pause will follow as the file is saved. We can verify that the file has been correctly saved by opening an Explorer window navigating to the saved file location, which in our case is our documents folder, where we see our saved file. If all goes well with the rest of the project, we won't need to restore it. Only in the event that we need to restore the backup, we return to regedit, and again click on the file menu, this time selecting import, and navigating to wherever our backup is saved, which in this instance is our documents folder. We then select our backup file, and click open to restore it. With our backup secured, we can now modify the registry, safe in the knowledge that any changes we make can easily be undone if required by restoring the backup. We're going to insert keys into the registry, which will change the way the context menu functions in Explorer. We again return to regedit to achieve this, so again, we click the start button to display the start menu, and type regedit, pressing enter to launch the registry editor. Once we've acknowledged user account control, we are returned to the main interface of the registry editor. We could navigate the labyrinth of registry entries to locate the appropriate node for our entry, but the more conventional route is to type the key directly. We therefore click in the navigation bar, where we highlight and delete the word computer, not to be confused with the entry for computer in the panel immediately beneath. With the word computer deleted, the bar is now completely blank, and we now enter the location for our new key here. The location is shown on screen now. Rather than type it directly, and to help you enter it accurately, you'll find this text in the written description accompanying this video on YouTube, or in the written article at techfixflix.com, and you can simply copy the text from there. With the text copied, we can either right click for a menu, and select the option to paste in the navigation bar, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V. 
With the text now pasted, we can press enter. You should see CLS ID highlighted, although you can manually click to highlight it should this not be the case. We then right click, selecting new, then key. A new key is created and is awaiting a new name. The existing name, new key number 1, is highlighted in blue, contained within a black bounding box and awaiting input. If not, select the key, right click it and select the option to rename. Once again, the text to be entered here is quite lengthy, and to avoid errors, we would encourage you to copy the text either from the written description accompanying this video on YouTube or from the written article on techfixflix.com. As before, with the text copied, we right click and select the option to paste, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V. The pasted text will be the new name for the key, and we can now press enter to confirm. With the renamed key selected, we right click, selecting new from the menu, then key once again. A new key is created immediately beneath the previous key. As before, it requires a new name. For the third and final time, this key name can be copied from the description or the article at techfixflix.com, and once copied, can again be pasted by right clicking for a menu and selecting the option to paste, or alternatively using Ctrl V. The new key is now named. We have one issue to resolve, namely that the value is not set. We double click default, and a new dialog box opens. We simply click OK. Doing so changes the value not set to purely blank. We've now completed the registry modification and can exit the registry editor. The changes won't take effect until either the machine is restarted or Windows Explorer restarts. Restarting Explorer will allow us to implement the changes without physically restarting our machine. To restart Explorer, press Ctrl Shift Escape to summon Task Manager then scroll to the very bottom of the list of running processes and click on Windows Explorer, then select the option to restart. Once the task has restarted, we can exit Task Manager. Now when we access Explorer, navigating to our selected file, right clicking immediately produces our fully extended context menu containing all potential menu items without the intermediary step. We have now restored single click access to all context menu options, aligning Windows 11 with all previous versions. Should we ultimately wish to revert to the compact menu, we can simply revisit our new key and delete it, once again opening the start menu, searching for regedit and running it, acknowledging user account control, navigating to the key we've created. We select the top level key and right click it, selecting the option to delete, before acknowledging the warning by clicking yes. This removes the key and reverses the changes we've made. We can again navigate to an explorer window, where we see our file, which we select. Right clicking reveals that we have returned the context menu to its original compact form. Check out our back catalogue of more than 100 tech tutorials, and be sure to subscribe to follow our future projects by clicking the logo shown on screen now. If you'd like to keep watching, there are links on screen to more videos you might find useful. If you can improve our methods, if you need assistance, or if you just want to discuss anything you've seen, get in touch via the comments. We love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon for your next tech fix.